بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک یوز دا اینالائز فیچر ان پاور بی آئی وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن آئیڈینٹیفائی پیٹرنس اینڈ ٹرینڈس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ایکسپلور آؤٹ لائرس اینڈ اینومیز اینڈ وی سو ہاؤ دا اے آئی کیپیبلٹیز آر یوز ٹو ایکچولی شو دا آؤٹ لائرس اینڈ اینومیز ان دا ویژولس Similar to this, there is another feature in Power BI which is called as the Analyze feature which is normally used to explain the distribution of data inside a visual. So let's go to the Power BI environment and have a look at this particular functionality. So here I am inside the Power BI environment and here I have plotted a simple bar chart where I have my sales region on the x-axis and my total quantity on the y-axis. So here you can clearly see that there is a different kind of a distribution. So there is no uniformity in the data. Some of the regions like uh, Central West and Mexico West have very uh, less value of quantity and North West has a, a very high value of quantity. So if you have this kind of a distribution, then if you just select this visual and then press right click, then you are going to find an option which says analyze and here you have an option which says find where this distribution is different. So if I just click on this, then this is going to open up another window which is shown here and here you can see that based on the AI capabilities, the Power BI has come up with certain visualizations which actually show that where the distributor which actually gave a reason for this dis, uh, this difference in the distribution so one uh, visualization you can see here so it is saying that it is because of the year value that in 1997 the quantity is different and the total quantity is different and then if i scroll down then there are other uh, parameters or other categories where through which this distribution this difference in distribution has been explained so you can actually go and see some of the maybe some of the results uh, have a certain significance or some of the results are not relevant at all but the point is that the, this ai capability is bringing in some some uh, some aspects that otherwise are very difficult for the data analyst to find so th some of these could be really helpful and if you want to actually include any of the results as part of your visualization or on or as part of your report then you can just click on this plus sign here and it says add to page so you can just click on this and it the this part or this visual will be added to your report page so sim so like here I, this this visual if i feel that there is some kind of a insight that is important important or interesting then i can put this on the visualization itself so you can uh, use this functionality and explore more about your data so that was all about the analyze feature and remember that this feature can be helpful in certain scenarios uh, but you have to actually go and look at the the suggestions and then filter out the results yourself so that's all for this video and i'll catch up with you in the next one